Hi everybody, how's it going? I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo, and today in Anime Reaction, we're going to be watching the sixth episode of Tensei Shitara Slime Dada Ken. So, uh, episode five comments. Yes. First. Uh, the first one I want to read off is from Alex Reznov. Good friends try to stop you from starting a fight. Best friends tell you to punch the body, not the face. And of course, though, our uh, yeah, our main El uh, Dorvin Smith didn't listen and punched the guy in the face twice. Come yeah. on, you gotta hit the gut. It's money in the bank. You take out the core, you take out the fighter. Anyway, um, hey, you want to do yours next? Oh, or? I thought you were doing yours next. Mine's a little bit more of a talking point. Yeah, fair enough. I guess I'll do mine then. All right, so Brian Habib Malana, uh, Malana um, started a nice little conversation here after a <laughs> funny little observation he made. If the main character turned into the humanoid form and it's basically look like a freaking girl. In the opening. So that mean our main character is waifuable or is it gay? And a uh, reply to which that kind of caught my eye uh, from Bernie Burton. It says, spoilers, he's a Barbie doll. Unix. <laughs> oh, he's uh, worse than a eunuch. Not yeah. only does he not have anything, right. he doesn't even have an asshole. Yeah, he does not need to. He, he's literally, defecate. like, he's a slime. Spoilers! He doesn't require, um... Yeah, and, yeah, by the way, guys, yeah, spoilers. But... <laughs> oh, come on, that's not... <laughs> well, but I mean, he doesn't he, have he, to, he doesn't have to, um, get rid of waste. Yeah, you, one would think it comes par, uh, part and parcel being the whole, the whole slime thing, so... Um, alright, so, Light of All Worlds said, just for clarification, the anime has scenes from both the manga and the light novel, mostly from the manga, with some supplemental info from the light novel, to be exact. And the only reason Rimuru seems like a Jesus slime is because they didn't clarify what exactly his abilities are. Hmm. Yes and no. I, I, I agree with where you're going, but I don't think that's why he feels like a Jesus slime. It's more how they, like, use them in the story. Yeah, especially in the anime. And I understand, like, there's going to be, oh, th this is explained away in the light novel. But, I mean, it, it really seems like there's just random things that he pulls out of his ass. <laughs> Sometimes literally. <laughs> <laughs> and just from my perspective in the anime, that's kind of... Well, I mean, even in the light novels, Rimuru admits that his abilities are kind of cheaty. Cheaty. Actually, yeah, well, what's the AI thing? The Great Sage? It, you know, it seems that, um, I guess for lack of a better term, the whole game, as it were, you know, this whole supernatural force that gave him the slime body and all these abilities upon his death in our world, it just seems to make him OP. Not so much like Rimuru himself, but it's the system. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. So it looks uh, like we're diverging away from Rimuru this episode and to focusing on the apparently much more interesting B plot of the story. Indeed. So let's get to it. Three, two, one, let's jam. Also, no stupid recap. Good job opening.
Whoever they got to play acoustic guitar on those really went just full ham on it. It was like a movie. I think uh, this band was playing a prom, but the drummer was like in a rock. Thought he was in a rock band. I forget which movie it was. But the acoustic guitar in this song kind of reminds me of that drummer style in that movie. I don't know. The only movie that I can think of that does something like that, but in the guitar is Back to the Future. Mm. That's a good one, too. <laughs> Aww. No. <laughs> uh, that's the uh, that's the party that went, went to, the, to the cave. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Aww. Kind of Suba faces on, right? Tell us how you really feel. How does she see through that thing? Right? Water blade? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that puzzle. Damn! There he goes, breaking type alignment and all that. <laughs> you just had to say that. Um. Apparently it was a joke and not a proverb back then, or whatever. Hmm. Mm.
Also kind of cool that the quiet and uh, portrayed as dumb one is an architect and city planner. You can touch them! Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> oh, he made it back. Oh, it's down the hall to the left. Whoa, okay. Horribly, but that's pretty cool, though. Summoning it from your shadow. <laughs> Later, bitches. If you need help, go have some Chipotle or something. <laughs> it's also kind of confusing when it goes between spoken dialogue for Rimuru and narration. Not skip leg day. Jesus Christ, those are some big-ass ants. Why did you stab? God damn it, Leroy. <sighs> he stabbed a, a nest. <laughs> <laughs> the otaku saga of adventure parties. Pretty. Ooh. Flaming sword. Even better. Time to wreck shit! Ooh! Combat mage. Very toasty. 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 <laughs> Needs a little more time, though. There we go. Ooh, she do, though. Oh, man. I like it. Stab and slash and then make it explode. That's Banff. Rule number two.
Though in her case, it'd be double stab, not double tap. The f hmm? <laughs> You've been thunderstruck. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah, you're right, Rumor. You're right, Rumor. You did meet her a lot sooner than I think we all thought. Well, until we saw the title of the next episode, right? Uh -huh. Oh, these three. <laughs> No season of Konosuba looks lit. Sounds like he's introducing him for a wrestling match or something. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> So it's worth jack shit, got it. Ah, I explained the zoom in on our legs.
I'm a cool, quiet, and aloof one. Hey, what's cooking good looking? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Hmm. Are we going to eat the girl too? I wouldn't blame him one iota if he did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to analyze that curse of yours. Do, do a thorough deep cleaning. Oh, sorry, that was what was on the computer. <laughs> What's browser history? Oh, great. <laughs> 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 I like his own shit face. Oh. Japan's post-war economic boom. The first Shinkansen. Read the mood, man. But slimes don't blush. <laughs> I'm thinking whenever she gets love struck, it's when the. I don't know. Or too happy or something. Ooh. 
Hmm. Huh. I like that magic circle. Huh. Straight out of Final Fantasy. <laughs> I was expecting to see more of her backstory in this episode. Mm. Zero out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it explains her elemental weaponry. Eh, sort of. Brilla, I like your fighting style. Very red mage-ish. Stab them, then make them explode with flames. Always a good choice. It's like peanut butter and jelly. It's two great things put together. Stabby, stabby, boomy, boomy. Also, can't wait to see Office Lady Ogre. And Gobata is teaching other goblins and basically how to shit out wolves. Well, he's not really teaching. Trying? Trying to teach? Yeah, he's trying. His students just don't act constipated enough. That's going to end up very dangerous. <laughs> mm, huh. So more she's a backstory in the next episode then? Well, I, I would assume so this. because... Um, may not based on the title. Well, there's a lot more backstory to go through. Mm. And it's a two-core series, so they can take their time. Well, they definitely are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was expecting to see a lot more Shizu's backstory and a lot less of uh, Rimuru in this one. Yeah, I wasn't uh, expecting them to meet up this early in the story either. It's very rushed in that regard. Yeah, I would have given it like <laughs> two, three episodes before Shizu yeah, and Rimuru. Yeah, pretty meets. much all of that happened way differently mm. in the light novel. Was it more like, okay, we start out with Rimuru and then we start out with Shizu with its well, more down line they meet? Or? Let's let's start with Gabata. Okay. Because that happened completely differently. Right. Because so as I said in the last one, uh, Rimuru tied him up before they went to the brothel. Mm -hmm. And then they got arrested at the brothel and they got sent somewhere else. And then after the trial, they went back to... Um, forget the, the dwarf's name, but the, the guy's shop. Uh, Kaijin? Or? Yeah, Kai, Kaijin. And uh, they opened up the room that Gabato was in, and he was sitting on what they thought was a cushion, and then the cushion moved. Huh, nice. It turned out to be his wolf. And, like, that that was that whole thing. Mm. And then uh, the, the whole bit with them building a village for the goblins... Mm -hmm. They skimmed over a lot of it where uh, the other goblin villages came and ah, okay. uh, pledged their loyalty to Rimuru. They kind of just, uh, 500 goblins just showed up and... Yeah, pretty much. Right. A lot of hands. There's a little bit more to that, and then they decided that they needed to relocate the village, so they actually re relocated to uh, just outside the cave, mm. which they never even mentioned in this. And then... Um, so that's uh, let's see that would explain how they ran into uh, our inept trio of adventurers. Yeah, the inept, the thing with the with them kind of happened the same until you get to the part with the ants. Mm -hmm. Because what what happened in the light novel is that the goblins found them and killed the ants. Oh, Ryu, you remind me of a of a point I do need to bring up. 
Shizu was shown Rimuru's memories, basically of Japan kind of evolving into the nation it is today. How would she know what a video game is if she, she died in the Second World War? She says, she says why she knows, because it's a joke that won't, that somebody else made. Ah. That w- is from Japan okay. a little later on. Okay. It's something that they they haven't touched on yet. Yeah, because she said so that. I don't know. How I much haven't I played talk it, about it, but I've heard it. She did yeah. say that. She she said I think literally said that it was from a joke that one of her students made, who was from Japan. Also, Sinraikai, congratulations on your 3K subs. Way to go, buddy. Um, like episode late, eight later. Okay. Uh, so they're splitting up her backstory then. That's a good. That's a good. Fair, that's a fair amount of backstory then. That's good. So yeah, we're kind of into her arc now, I guess. Oh yeah, I, I forgot about uh, about the scene where Rimuru was talking to uh, his wolf about him killing the wolf's father mm. and whether or not he's upset about that, right? Was, or his his feelings so true, towards Rimuru at all. Mm-hmm. And the wolf was basically like, you know, saying that he was unhappy with the way that his father was. Mm. Yeah, in the anime, that scene was kind of just brushed away. Yeah. It was, like, there's a lot of hand waving going on here. I mean, Gabata's escape, uh, you know, the building of the goblin village. I mean, as much... Discussion with, um, dang it, I forgot his name, Raiga, or the the mean Tempest Wolf. Yeah. But, I mean... Um, I don't really want to call it hand waving... But at the same time, it's kind of just, uh, come on, come on, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Uh-huh. So just move it along, move it along, move it along, move it along. So let, let's keep the thing rolling, let's just. Yeah, they're going through it kind of quick, it's just. I, I think it's just brushing away right. little details here and there to kind of move the story along. Um. But yeah, the the other thing is the um, uh, the the other thing is like uh, with the ants, the uh, Rimuru doesn't meet the Avengers until he walks into that tent where they're eating. Oh. So the the goblins or the hobgoblins were the ones who actually saved the Avengers, not Shizu, mm. and not Rimuru. That's gonna piss me off. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the whole part with him talking to Shizu is completely made up for the anime. Uh, that whole because that out. conversation happens way later after certain events mm. that are basically the climax of the novel. It does seem like a like a really big event to really have them have a heart to heart. The, and to, you know, to do it this soon yeah, it seems like a strange directorial call to me again I mean I thought they were going to be more that Shizu's and Rimuru's storylines were gonna, weren't going to converge this soon well this, this emote this, this picture mm. this yeah. picture right here that, 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 that's uh, everything uh, yeah, that is that that is the truth. I feel you didn't like where it was in the light novel. I I feel like the anime has taken the idea of the god tier OP character that can do practically anything mm-hmm. and kind of raised it up to a pedestal a little bit and kind of focused on that too much. Like, if they had more side plots, like, I would have much, much rather have seen the goblins take care of those ants. Oh yeah, I would have too, because it shows that... It shows that the the goblins are not just, you know, relying completely on Rimuru. And they, they, they are capable and competent on their own. Yeah. 
because because they decided to raise up that scene to be more about Rimuru than the goblins, hmm. they have pedestaled Rimuru far too much. Hmm. But yeah, not only did they, you know, the- show off Rimuru again as she's a slime superstar, but they did so in a way that diverges from the source material, according to Rizzo. Yeah, and when you diverge from when you diverge from the source material, you get story plot holes and things that really piss me off, like a complete arc of story that was actually really good in the second season of SAO. Ah, buddy. Here we go. So, and all that was just stripped away and gone and so going forward anything more that comes from it is just if you miss details <sighs> anyway really back to this anime here right yeah I, I don't know it's just I, I did like it better how it was done in the light novel because once you get up to the part with the ants you already know Shizu's backstory hmm like, all the way up until where they are. Uh, like, from her summoning yes. to the present. So you don't need to show, you know, oh, she's super powerful, but she has a weakness. Mm-hmm. You know? I've been doing yeah, it. well, I mean, they're, they're likely doing it in the next couple episodes or whatever, but still, again, like, if, if that would have been more interspersed, like it was in the novel... You wouldn't have had to have her defeat basically all the ants but one. Mm. You know? And, and changing around a bunch of the story. Or or even showing that... Uh, yeah, I mean, it probably would have been a little awkward, but I think that they should have shown like her backstory before they did the part with the ants. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, like, um, well, I think they should have kept... Like, like, I thought this episode was going to mostly be her backstory. Yeah, I thought they were going to keep Shizu's, back, uh, Shizu's story and Rimuru's story, you know, parallel, and then converge it a couple episodes later. Not just, you know, merging together so soon. But, I mean, that, that's, that's all, that only makes sense. Mm. <laughs> oh, well. At least the uh, little... You know, uh, it, albeit ham fisted, a heart to heart scene on the hill was uh, quite nice. And oh, yeah, and then all, also that, that bit with him sad. doing the, um, the what thought is communication. Yeah, thought communication. I was making a joke about him showing her That's how naughty images on the computer, <laughs> but uh, then it actually happened because that, that wasn't in the light novels. Uh he, in the light novels, it just says that he shows her the, uh, you know, the, the Japan that he knows of. Mm-hmm. Then, yeah, it kind of admits that little funny detail. It's like the uh, Sonic uh, sunglasses when Peter Capaldi was, you know, was the doctor. What's browser history? <laughs> Played out exactly like that. And also... Uh, still totally jealous. He's been picked up by so many women in that form. I think that'd be a good uh, thing to end on. Do, do we have a... Do I have a nice shot of uh, Rimuru getting cozy? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> but yeah, I'm just... It's... Weird and... I don't really want to pick it apart all that much, because the more I pick, the more I'm going to... I think we picked it apart well enough this time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry. There'll be plenty more opportunities to do so. If We're finally like saying this. why you wanted a new guitar drive. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, please. Some softcore arrow gay. That's, that, that's cute, buddy. I mean, he moved on. He moved on the memory before it got to any juicy parts. So, fair enough. Yeah. 
Anyway, so let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. And if you're interested in joining Discord, look for it in the description below. If you like our videos here on YouTube, consider going to patreon.com slash Saga and making a donation. Remember, your support helps keep the channel running. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time.